I have here with me two brand spanking new open ear buds by Soundcore. One is a regular and the other a pro. There's a $40 upcharge for the pro. Is it worth it? Stick around, this is about to get real. was a tad longer than normal, but hey, I'm doing two pairs of earbuds, guys, on one review. Welcome back to the Brandon No D channel. So glad to have you guys here with me in the studio together once again. I know I've been gone for quite a while. Hunting season was uh, upon us, and I just got back from a long week trip, and now I can focus on all my earbud videos. I think I got about six uh, coming your way. This being one of the six. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the brand new Soundcore AeroFit, the regular, and the AeroFit Pro. And like I said earlier, we're talking a $40 difference, guys, and I wanna be able to debut both, show you exactly what you're getting, so you guys will be able to make the right decision without any worries. So, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and cover what's in the boxes? Now, as far as both boxes go, you are going to get a user manual. Do you need it? No, I don't think so, but some might. They're also coming with a USB-A to a USB-C charging cable that it's it's short, but uh, then again, all of them are these days. And of course, no earbud gel tips, guys. Again, we are covering open ear headphones, not closed in the canal type of buds. Now, an extra item that doesn't come with the regular is this neckband that comes with the Pro, and it's quite unique, guys. It's adjustable, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it connects and all that a little bit later on in the video. Let's keep it rolling with what you get, such as cases. On the AeroFit, you're getting a matte flat finish with the foil Soundcore logo on top. Now, I'm digging the size of it. It's a, a pill shape look to it, but it's very flat. Definitely gonna fit well in the pocket, making it very pocketable, easy to carry around. We like that. In the front, you're gonna get three LED indicators gauging your battery percent. And in the very back, you'll get your USB Type-C charging port along with your Bluetooth sync button. Opening the case, you're greeted with your buds resting on the top. And guys, you know as well as I do, we've got to do the gravity test. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, there's one and two. Yeah, that didn't surprise me at all. Most almost always fall out when they sit on top of the case. All right, setting those aside, let's go ahead and take a look at the AeroFit Pro case. Now, we're definitely jumping up in size as far as thickness is concerned, but yet it's more of a square style shape than the pill. You'll notice there are no LED lights on the front 
but they did manage to put the USB-C charging port there. Interesting. Again, we're looking at a flat black case with the foil logo of the Soundcore on top, but you'll see we get this fancy button to open the case. Nice soft touch, we'll flip it open, and oh, there we go, there is the LED bar for gauging the battery percent. All right, since we have them open, we gotta do a gravity test again, but you know what? This one might be a little different, guys, and the reason I say that is, if you notice, the earbuds kinda tuck under this little lip here, so I'm thinking they might fare better than the last pair did. You guys ready? Let's give it a shot. Yep, I thought so. Very well done, Soundcore. Maybe you need to do that with the regulars as well. All right, let's go ahead and compare both earbuds side by side. Okay, there's maybe a tiny weight difference, but definitely not hugely noticeable. You're getting a little more girth with the bigger drivers, obviously. You'll notice it on the earpiece as well as the stems. They're both coming in the flat black, which is great to see. I love no fingerprints. Keep in mind you're going to get touch controls on the non-pro model and physical buttons on the pro. So that could actually make or break your decision. Some people that work out don't want the touch controls or at least they need an app that will turn that off. When you're moving around like that, you may bump it. So again, it's preference. You'll also see a ton of different mics all over the Pro opposed to the non-Pro. I also took notice to the different labeling on the Pro. In just the right light, you can see a bunch of Soundcore logos throughout the earpiece. Attention to detail. I catch that. I'm always looking for that in any pair of earbuds or anything I review actually. All right, well, since they're both out, let's go ahead and test out the fit. First, we'll check out the regulars. And yes, for this test, we will be removing the eyeglasses and the ball cap. And yeah, I'm going bald. <laughs> Don't waste your comment. Now on any open pair of earbuds, it's very simple. They do spring out. They've got some good uh, flexibility, if you will. What I always do is I kind of come right into the ear and then drop it around. It fits right in, no problems. And there you have it, guys. That's as easy as one, two, and three. Very lightweight on the ears. Again, open buds are always gonna be more comfortable than the ones that fit deep in the canal. It's just the way it goes. Will you be able to lay yourself down on a pillow? You might be able to. Um, will it cause ear fatigue? I'm not real sure. It really depends on your ear style, meaning how your ears look. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and try out the pros next. Now the pros are gonna be a little bigger, obviously, but the question is, will that affect the fit? No, absolutely not. Wow, okay. No, actually they, they feel just fine. Um, you can feel a little bit more beefier in the back against the lobe, but other than that, it, it, it's definitely comfortable. They're definitely light as well. Let's try it with that band we talked about. Let me show you how that works. All right, guys, if you notice on the very end tips, you have a red dot and you have a white dot. That is gonna definitely come in very handy when you pick up your strap because if you turn it, you'll see you have a red line and a white line, okay? So obviously you're gonna take the red dot one. It'll have a magnet that fits inside a groove, but you just line up the two like so and snap it in. There you go, there's one. And then do the same exact on the other. Take the white dot with the white line, snap it in there and lock it. And there you have it, pretty cool. Uh, this is gonna be for the real extreme uh, exercise enthusiast, I'm thinking. But yeah, you just stick them back on the ears like so. And now you have yourself a neck band and you can actually pull it tight. So now they won't go anywhere. I mean, you pop your melon all over the place. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera actually. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So there you have it guys. So it is a nice feature to have the option. You don't have to use them. They are magnetic, like I said, when they go together. So if you wanna use it, 
feel free. If you don't, don't. Maybe if you're working and you wanna send this around your neck like that to hold on to them so you don't have to hold them individually, that could also be a huge feature. Can you wear glasses with these? Absolutely, yeah. Like I said, on any uh, buds that you wear on the outside of your ears, always put those on first, then add the a la carte options after that. Eyeglasses, ball cap, what have you. There you go, guys. No problems whatsoever. All right, I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and cover the specs. And uh, obviously we're going to combine the two models. So just listen for regular or pro. On the AeroFit, you get 14 millimeter dynamic drivers, okay? That's pretty big for a pair of open back earbuds. On the other hand, the Pros are sporting a 16.2 millimeter oversized titanium coated diaphragm for robust bass. Again, these are their words, not mine. However, you will get spatial audio. If you guys have ever played with that, that is truly amazing. And we're gonna show you that later on in the review. And it's also coming with LDAC for all you Android lucky nerds out there. Now they are claiming that they have unmatched comfort on their open ear style earbuds. And that is stated on both sets. You're gonna get enhanced awareness in both models as well due to the open ear design. Of course, anything that sits on the outside of your eardrum, you're going to be aware of your surroundings more than when they're deep in the canal and you have no idea what the hell is going on. All right, let's talk about battery percent. On the AeroFit regulars, you're going to get 42 hours on the case and 11 hours on the buds. That's pretty big. However, on the Pros, you're going to get 46 hours on the case and 14 hours on the buds. Man, you thought they couldn't go any bigger? They did. And get this, a 10 minute fast charge is going to give you five and a half hours of playtime on the fly. That is bananas. No worries, you also get a 10 minute fast charge on the regular AeroFits that'll give you four hours on the fly. True, you're losing an hour and a half from the pros, but again, it's coming with a fast charge. Both are also coming with four mics built in for crystal clear calls that they're saying will cancel out background noise even though they are on the outside of your ears. Oh. And you better believe I'll be testing both pairs for you guys to make your own decision. Let's talk Bluetooth. Both pairs will be coming with the latest 5.3 along with multi-point connection. Both pairs have it. Awesome feature. You'll be able to connect to two different devices at the same time, how do I usually say it? Mm, comes in clutch. Although we don't get that treatment when it comes to IP ratings. Oh. Yeah, actually the pros take a hit this time around. That's right, the AeroFit's regular are coming with a IPX7 with sweat guard. It's gonna be fantastic for whatever activities you decide to do. Take them to the limits, no worries. However, the pros are coming with an IPX5 rating. And don't get me wrong, it would be incredible to see an IPX7 on something with spatial audio or LDAC, but they just aren't there yet. As far as the awesome Soundcore app that I always brag about, it's coming with both models and I'd love to show you right now how it works. Let's go ahead and look at the AeroFit regulars first. Click on the Soundcore app, let it find it. Don't you just love that dark theme interface? I mean, to me, looks matter. You get the icon of your AeroFit buds along with the battery percent on both the right and left. And also, look at that guys, you get the case as well. Very nice. Let's click on the settings in the upper right corner first. At the top is your volume balance. That's something new, I've never seen that before. Go ahead and click on that. You're actually able to slide it from left to right how you like to hear things, I guess. I would keep it in the middle. Under that is dual connection, and that was what we were mentioning with the multi-point connection, being able to connect to two different devices. Let this thing find it for you and connect. It's, it's awesome. Then we have prompt tone on or off. Then there's auto power off. Great feature to have. It defaults at 30 minutes, but you have the option of 10, 20, 60, or never off. That's if you're ballsy. Oh. 
All right, just under that is Find My Device. Now, this is a feature that I'm starting to see on more apps as of late. I, not just Soundcores, it's been on a few other manufacturers as well. Great feature to have. I mean, we do get uh, misplacent at times. Is it? that's even a word but yeah you'll be able to find either the right or left if you happen to lose it and just under that is update firmware make sure you are current always a good thing all right let's go ahead and take a look at sound effects first up is your 3d surround sound now that's pretty cool they say to use that if you're watching movies or gaming just under that is default which is going to give you three preset genres from soundcore signature to podcast or trouble booster. Don't worry, they included custom EQ. There you'll have eight different sliders to adjust to your sound preference. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at control settings. Click on that. Here's where you're gonna be able to adjust however you want your earbuds to work, whether they're the manual buttons or the touch buttons. You can change left or right on a single press, double press, or long press. It's a great feature. You're gonna love it. All right, let's go ahead and back out of this, guys. I'm gonna throw in the pros and I wanna show you the one and only extra feature you get if you go with the pro. All right, in the AeroFit Pro, click on sound effects. Now at the very top, you'll notice spatial audio. That is the one and only feature that you'll be able to mess around with using the pro, okay? You'll have fixed or head tracking in either music mode or movie mode. And if you guys have never played around with that, I highly recommend it. It follows and tracks your head with the music, whether you're watching movies or playing music, it'll follow wherever you look. Very cool, very fun. Uh, is it something you'll be using a lot? I doubt it, but is it something to play and have fun with? Absolutely. All right, what do you say we uh, go ahead and do a music test? And I guess since I have the pros, no, you know what? I'm not gonna do you like that. We're gonna set up the regulars first to play the song and then we'll test out the pros with the same song. Today's sponsored song is by none other than a, oh, just an awesome platform, Artlist. If you're a content creator looking for that next song title, Artlist has a plethora of songs to choose from. Or how about those sound effects that you hear in all my videos? What about that perfect stock footage you've been looking for? Artlist and Artgrid have it all for your creative needs. If you are on the fence of becoming a content creator like myself, if you like the music and the sound effects that I do in each and every one of my videos, look no further. Check out the details I'll have down for you and how to get yourself subscribed to Artlist. And don't forget to get yourself two free months on top of the one year subscription. You are welcome. Today's song is called Fashion by Peter Spacey, and this is the vocal version of the intro. If you guys like that song, wait till you hear the vocal version. Isn't that cool? Oh, that sounds good. And you know what's weird too? I can hear myself talk. I can hear my surroundings around me, which is the whole key of having a set of open ear uh, headphones, but to have it have a good sound on top of that is something that is unusual to get. And Soundcore has definitely hit that. All right, let's go ahead and try out the pro. All right, we're definitely getting deeper bass now. You work the streets or work the clubs, nine to five or got no job. Is there any leakage? That's a good question. Do you hear it? I'm sure you hear a little bit. You would because they're an open back earbud, so. Fact or fiction all in line. Fashion never wastes your time. Of a retro song. I like it. I hope you guys do. Fashion saves. Fashion. Fashion saves. All right, guys. That's enough. How do I say this? Okay. These are not for the bass heads. They just aren't. That being said, you will definitely be impressed. They sound fantastic. Now, as far as the regular go to the pros, eh, you're gonna get a little bit more bass. You're getting bigger drivers. Of course, it's obviously a no brainer when it comes to that. 
you will have better sound and better bass with the pros versus the regulars, but that does not cast out the regulars by any means. All right, let's go ahead and do a mic test with both sets so you guys can make that decision on your own. All right, this is a test without any crazy noise going on in the background. How do they sound? I would love to know for myself, but of course I won't know until I'm in post later on. Now this is how it would sound in a loud environment, maybe a restaurant, right? How am I sounding now? Does it sound just as good? I'm hoping that the regular versus the pro sound decent enough or maybe even better. I, I don't know, obviously, you guys know that. I'm, I'm not in post, but this is how it would sound without ambience. This is also performing in a restaurant. How is it working? I won't know until I check for myself. I'll be right back. All right, fast forward. I've been in post and to answer my question, no. The Arrow Fit regulars are definitely not as crisp or clear as the pros. However, having a set of the regulars will do you just fine on phone calls. As far as the pros, I'm sure you guys noticed as well as I did, you get a little bit more bass in the tone and I think they're going to outperform the regular arrow fits. So obviously, if you guys notice down at the timestamp, we're over 20 minutes already. Of course we are, because it's a twofer uh, video, but let's get you guys out of here with my pros and cons next. Pros and cons are definitely going to go side by side with the regulars versus the pros. 14 millimeter drivers opposed to 16.2 on the pros. Spatial audio, LDAC, you don't get it on the regular. However, you do get the multi-point connection on both as well as the Bluetooth 5.3. But we mustn't forget that you're still getting a IPX5 rating opposed to the IPX7. So for some, that might make a difference. And don't forget about that nice strap that does come with the pro. Some people might really like that feature. Others could probably care less. At the end of the day, you're getting yourself a very nice set of open earbud style buds. As far as cons go, I'm gonna give it to one and one only. They both do not come with wireless G charge. That's right, you can't slap this one or this one on a wireless charger and make Bob or Fran your aunt or uncle retail. Now, of course, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Soundcore whatsoever. Okay, they send me out their products, ask me to do you the review, and that's what I do. So of course, I'll be dropping you down my Amazon affiliate link down in my description. It's not a huge amount, but it definitely helps me and the channel grow in making you guys these videos. Now, if you jump on the Soundcore link, you are going to be able to try out the black pair of the pros called Try Before You Buy. That's right, you're gonna be able to try them out for 14 days to make sure that you guys like them. So it's really, again, a no brainer to try and go for the Gusto. If that doesn't flatter you, you can definitely go on the Amazon link and pick up the Arrow Fits for $129.99 in black or white. If I have convinced you by now to go with the better of the two, the Arrow Fit Pros are going for $169.99 also in black or white. Let's open a fortune cookie, shall we? And I'm almost guessing that this one is gonna be stale like the rest. Oh, it's already broke, okay. Yeah, there we go. Fortune, a special word is milk. Now, I like milk. Wife, daughter, maybe in cereal, but that's it. The limit to your abilities is where you place it. Well, wouldn't you know? That's true. Nothing fell. Ladies and gentlemen, obviously, if you've stuck with me this long in the review, well, <laughs> you are definitely either family or it could be something a little wrong with you, but you know better than I do. We don't judge here at this table. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe on your way out that door. If you are not, by now, I'll be right back here again next weekend. See ya. Whether you're thrift or wear custom made, whether you're bad or well behaved, fashion, fashion saves. Living fast and on the edge, goody two shoes, mums and mains, fashion, fashion saves. You work 